Guys, it's getting close to Halloween. So I came up with an idea to create a an animatronic pneumatic Vecna. Cause I like Stranger Things. And I know you do too, if you're watching this video. And please, if you like the video, subscribe and like, it'll help the channel out. Here's my Stranger Things cup. So here we go. Oh, shoot! So what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to build a pneumatic Halloween prop, a pneumatic Vecna to be exact. Here I got my Stranger Things cup. This is not your normal Halloween prop. It's not like the ones you find in Spirit Halloween, like the slow ones. <laughs> Many times these pneumatic props cost thousands of dollars. Today, I'm gonna show it to you. It with some stuff from Home Depot, like uh, basic wood, uh, hinges, um, you name it. So let's get right to it. So guys, here we have the four x four, the two x four, and there's another piece of wood I've hinged together with the large pneumatic cylinder. This is the up and down motion. Uh, so as you can see, um, I hooked it up with a few hinges, a drawer slide, large, rather large drawer slide. I gotta get the measurements right and I'll put it in the comments and stuff. So here we have the swivel mechanism. This I'm gonna use for its head movement, left to right. And I have a smaller pneumatic cylinder that I hook on the bottom of that. As you can see, it's a swivel mount and it's gonna, you know, go along with all the movement up and down. But, you know, you create whatever pneumatic prop you want. I'm just giving you a guideline on how to make some stuff and you get creative with it. So here we have also um, PVC piping uh, for, you know, the hinge movement of the shoulders. So we have two more pneumatic cylinders on the chest here which are gonna go separate. So it can go ahead and rise with the movement of the uh, piston when it shoots up and down. And here I'm also showing you some more of the movement of the head and more in detail movement of the pneumatic cylinder left and right on the arms. This I also hook up, you know, I'm gonna do the PVC body uh, all that stuff is going to be hinged to the pneumatic cylinders plus um, the rest of the body with the you know the legs. Basically, the movement of the whole prop it's going to be uh, sitting down, standing up, and then you know with the rest of the animation of the dialogue of the you know Vecna talking and everything, and the lighting shooting at it. Um, so here we got some more of the, I actually added a second hinge for the head movement going up and down as well as left and right. Uh, as you can see there, it'll pop up, up and down. Here you have the manic cylinder, the small one again, the large one. And then as you can see right here, we have all the solenoids. I had used five in total five solenoids in total. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. 
which I purchased a lot of the parts on Amazon and I'll show it on the parts list on the bottom. Here you have some of the pneumatic tubing. Uh, as I go along, you can actually pause on the video, look at these parts in detail, or you can look at the parts list and it's all listed. We got, uh, basically got to make his body and everything. Um, I got a bunch of uh, black trash bags, melted it with a heating gun. And, and uh, alongside that, I had ordered that mask on AliExpress for very cheap. Um, and also what I did once I got all the trash bags melted on the body, the, the actually the base is made out of cardboard, cardboard boxes put together. Then I put the uh, plastic bags and melt them over. After that, I go, go ahead and uh, get some spray paint. I use some, some gray, um, whatever spray paint on it, made it look like so basically I made, I spray painted that area and made it match to the coloring of the mask, kind of matching the whole Vecna body and head. Okay guys, so now we get to the cool technical part. Uh, basically I got a um, Halloween uh, switch controller, which is actually shooting energy to each of the pneumatic solenoids, which actually make the pistons move. So here we have what is called an octopill, actually reached out to a company called scarecompany.com uh, and they, you know, I bought the uh, Arduino Uno Nano plus um, an eight channel relay, relay H, an eight channel relay module, which the uh, octopill is hooked onto and it makes it an easy connection to it, unless you, just want to buy it separately from China and AliExpress. You can buy a Arduino Nano, uh, four or eight channel relay, but you're going to have to do a lot of the wiring with the Octopill. You're just going to have to, it's plug and play. Uh, you put the Octopill, make it like a sandwich and you have everything connected to the relay, easier wiring, uh, easier wiring for your audio and your speakers and whatnot so so for the next part um i found on you know searching through youtube i found an application somebody created actually you know it was very good because he created for, for free i've been using this for years to control my halloween props you can control basically everything on your haunts on your haunts and basically you can create a haunt sequence so basically you um you know, press uh, the click on on, ish, on things that you want to activate or deactivate, um, and uh, hit record. And basically, you put your sounds, uh, make uh, you know like lights turn on and off, um, make the pneumatic cylinders on and off, uh, all according to the audio or scare sound you put. Uh, you can make it as short as possible or as long as possible as, as you want, uh, which makes it very easy. And it's uh, easy do it yourself type of thing. Uh, other companies charge you a lot of money for it, but there's many out there they could choose from, but this is the free version I'm gonna teach you. Uh, I'll make an, another video later on on how to use it. And there's also, I'll put the actual video of the person that created it uh, so you can go ahead and you know learn as you go with their videos as well Here we have the prop almost finished. As you can see all the details, um, 
the coloring of the mask plus the coloring of the body. Uh, if I would do it again, I would actually get a a mannequin and uh, do it all, you know, and to cut it, the mannequin into pieces. But here, you know, I used different parts. Uh, it was easier because of the flexibility of the legs with the PVC piping, um, the separation of the body when it goes up and down. Uh, and I colored it with, you know, purples, reds, uh, silver, spray paint. Uh, and it was, it came out, it came out pretty cool. But you know, you learn as you go. So this was a very exciting point of the project. I hadn't tested out the whole entirety of the functioning of the whole pneumatic prop. Uh, so I got home one night, I had everything set up and I went ahead and told my wife and kids, hey, check it out. I got my pneumatic Vecna finally finished. Uh, you know, the wife always gives you issues, you know, when you're creating these things because it's time consuming. Uh, but at the end, it turned out pretty cool. It was an entertaining piece for everyone. Uh, so as you can see, everything everything turned out well. I had hiccups here and there. Yeah, my, my hiccups are gonna be your resolution to issues that you're gonna run into. The only real issue that I ran into, which took me a while to solve, was the issue of the voltage uh, when the uh, actual activation from the Arduino uh, would send a message to uh, activate one of the solenoids. Since there was so much voltage, it would kick back to the Arduino and it would restart the whole program. So to avoid that, I actually bought these uh, kind of like resistors that go in between the pneumatic solenoid and the Arduino to stop that voltage shoot back to the Arduino, which restarted my whole program. And that for a while I was battling with and it had me frustrated, but I actually fixed it. Here I was setting up everything the night before my Halloween party every year. Um, as you can see on the ground, I had uh, some wiring, I put duct tape everywhere, I had my speakers, I had uh, trying to hide all the wiring behind every uh, black tarp I put up just so nobody can see stuff. Also, what I did was uh, added fog machine and lights that strobe while uh, in the activation of the whole uh, program itself. When somebody does, you know, step on the step sensor, the whole thing activates. Uh, I also added a fog machine that activates along with the uh, relays. Uh, so the relay will shoot the message to the fog machine and throw the fog. So here are the video of the boys playing with the uh, scare uh, haunt in the front of the house. Uh, as you can see, they're having a lot of fun with it. They step on the... I also did my own step sensors. You can either buy them or make them yourself. They're very easy. I'll make another video of uh, creating these step sensors. Uh, so uh, here you see the whole activation of the whole prop. And it was very cool during uh, Halloween party. And on Halloween night, we had a whole bunch of people in front of the house. Uh, so guys, I love Halloween. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep make, making very cool do-it-yourself. Um, Halloween props and I also do a lot of other do-it-yourself uh, things so uh, help us out subscribe hit a like on the video uh, I'll keep making some very very cool stuff especially every Halloween that's my favorite time of the year so see you later